In this video, we are going to talk about textures. So textures are part of materials when we want to create some more advanced materials here in Rhino, but also in other software and also, for example, in the V-Ray plugin for Rhino. So uh, basically, all the software use the same channels and they usually use the same textures. Sometimes they have different names, but the, the task, the purpose is the same. Now, in the previous video, we saw how the, we can create materials and apply the basic parameters for reflection, reflectivity, specularity, roughness, metalness. We also applied some emissive material, which is going to generate light. And so in this video, we're going to talk about the same channels, but this time we're going to use textures. So first of all, I'm going to delete everything here. And let's concentrate on this interior. I'm not going to change the HDRI because I don't need to see the exteriors. And hold the Shift and Halt. I will fix a little bit the camera rotation here. So you see here, I have placed some of the materials that I find in the Rhino libraries. But also, I have created some myself using websites and assets that you can find online and I'm going to show you that in just a minute but before let's talk about textures so first of all what are textures now textures are simple images so any image that you find on the web on or your computer can be used to create a material can be used to create a texture so if you have a picture for example of a painting you can create a painting object using that texture. Now, usually you have two main categories. Now, the first category is that textures that you want to place on an object just one time. For example, if you want to again create a, a frame, a picture frame, a painting, you can just apply the image of that painting. Or if you want to simulate a TV screen, you can apply the screenshot of a TV screen and you can apply that. So you can create basically any type of graphics. Now you can use JPEG, you can use also PNG if you want the transparency. So if you don't know what these terms are, just search for on Google and you will find it. But essentially PNGs don't have a background thanks to the alpha channel, which is also another topic that we are gonna cover. And in uh, Rhino and other software, it's called opacity, which is another type of map. So you have the image that you can place only one time and this can be the like 99% of the image that you find online for example this one here this could be placed only one time because if you're gonna repeat this many times you're gonna see the repetition now you can see here that I've used a brick, bricks material and also a pavement now you cannot place a simple texture there but you need to make sure that when that image is gonna repeat many many times this is what it's doing right now for all the building then you shouldn't see the repetition you should see that like a continuous pattern a continuous texture repeating over and over so textures the second category of textures is the tileable texture or the texture that you can repeat an infinite number of times. Now, in that case, the magic word to get to the second category is seamless. Now, seamless textures don't have seams, which means that they repeat over and over without seeing the, the borders of that particular image. So this is uh, really easy, for example, when you do tiles, because tiles, they already have um, really visible cut or visible seams because they need to represent a tile but what you do every time when you use seamless textures is just selecting a tile that needs to be repeated but you cannot see the seam between a tile and the other so when you look for seamless textures you will find definitely better textures and you can see here that you can create any material 
you will find really thousands and thousands of websites, well, textures and also websites that you can use to download and create your customized material. So, for example, if I'm looking for a particular material like a wood or a parquet for the pavement, I can insert here the term that I'm looking for. Now, when you look for this, here you can also have Crafty Commons or licenses. Now, for example, if I want this one here, the other thing that I should check is the resolution. Now, usually you have to pay to get higher resolutions. This means that you're gonna have more pixels and the quality of the image is gonna be higher. But you can also find a lot of open source and free textures out there. I'm gonna show you later a website when you can get really interesting textures. So now let's talk about the different textures that you need. Now the first one is the diffuse. And here in Rhino, we saw we have a first superficial layer of the material that's gonna be called sometimes albedo or base or diffuse. Now, usually this is called diffuse. Now, if you're talking about physical base render materials, so the, the most accurate, now this is how a particular material reacts in real life to light. So when it's gonna be hit by a light, it's gonna give you back all those colors that it doesn't retain. So what you perceive with your eye is the colors that are bouncing back to you. And this could be diffuse, so it means that they are not concentrated, but diffused on the surface. Roughness and specular. Now, when we have the rough, roughness effect, we usually don't see reflections. So if you have total roughness, you cannot see any reflections. If you have the other way, so glossiness or specularity or reflections, it means that you're gonna have less roughness. Now, again, this is the light reacting to the surface. If, you, if it's gonna be scattered on the surface, you will have roughness. If it's gonna go back to your eye, concentrated, it's gonna be specular or glossy. Now, roughness is inverse to specular and glossy. And when you look for roughness textures, you will find, let's say this one here. Now, in here, the white represents the most rough part of the material, while the black, the less rough. So it's gonna be the most, the most reflective. So again, roughness is the inverse of reflection or of specularity. And you can see many examples on the web. Next one is the bump and normal. Now this is also really important. This is actually a 3D superficial effect, a fake 3D, let's call it, which is gonna give you a little bit more of realism to your uh, material. And again, you will find many examples. Now normal maps are usually purple, while the bump is gonna be black and white, with the white representing the height of a particular extrusion of that superficial effect and the black, no extrusion. So it's always a matter of black and white. Now, when you use standard effects here in the material, you, you will select total white or total black. When you select textures, the texture is gonna define the black and the white using the pixels. So it's not gonna be, for example, a uniform reflection, but it's gonna be guided by the pixels and the black and the whites. So it's gonna be more realistic. Texture opacity. Now again, we have white and blacks. So the white part is gonna be visible, the black part is gonna be invisible. And this is the logic of the alpha channel and the PNG images that you find. So you can either use PNG images ready made for you, or you can apply an alpha channel, or let's say, let's call it also a mask. Now let's go back into the scene here and select this brick wall that I got from the libraries again. So if you want, you have a lot of library 